people from the former colonies coming and seeing a great opportunity in coming to live in Portugal because their life prospects are improved. And then people from the other parts of the world who are, are much wealthier and seeing a great quality of life, uh, seeing that they can uh, live a better quality of life and get themselves a property bargain. They're doing great, aren't they, out of this? But the but the mass of Portuguese people themselves are not. And you can understand why they, they might be resentful about that. Well, I personally really dislike the general Portuguese mentality because here in <laughs> Portugal we have um, a big problem. One of them is the vi victim mentality that pretty much follows the way the government works. And uh, the other one is the aversion to risk. There is a huge aversion to risk here in Portugal. And that is absolutely terrible from a, a, a business and an entrepreneurship perspective, because here in Portugal, it is pretty much if you fail once, if something goes wrong once, then you're a failure and you will never going to get up and you're going to be an outcast from society. And as we both know, that's not how uh, businesses and entrepreneurship works. Business and this entrepreneurship is all about adaptability and uh, the ability to overcome the lows because there are always going to be lows and there's always going things that uh, going to be things that go wrong. But here in Portugal, there is a, um, a huge negative stigma around the, um, the risk and having some things go wrong. So It's a, a really bad environment to develop entrepreneurship because people are very risk averse. And I think that's one of the biggest mm. reasons that there is a, a, very, a much smaller amount of successful Portuguese entrepreneurs than foreign uh, successful entrepreneurs because they come with a completely different mentality. And these people are willing to take those risks and they understand that they may or may not go right, but they are willing to move forward anyway.